unbelievable stop. Swiss shot block. Save, amateur. NHL great Jacques Plante might argue that there's nothing like a puck to the face to stimulate a little change. After a slap shot forced him to the locker room to receive stitches in 1959, Plante returned to the ice wearing a mask that he fashioned for practice. Yes, the fiberglass. And oh, the fiberglass. It should be noted that Plante was ridiculed for using the mask, even though it would lead to a widespread change in the game of hockey. You know, everybody says the goal is the weirdest uh, guy on the team, and uh, you probably have to be to, to stand in front of a puck like that. But uh, you see different, uh, different masks, and they kind of reflect your personality, whatnot. You know, in, in different aspects, and you know, it's just it makes the goalie position unique. While the mask began with Plant, it was in the 1970s that Bruins legend Jerry Cheevers finally made the mask cool with this stitched pattern. One of today's top mask crafters is Matt Garland, owner and founder of ProMask.com. Matt's been part of the goalie mask evolution ever since it began. People used to pay me an awful lot of money to make these what I would consider prehistoric, pretty horrible masks, <laughs> but they worked and they were state of the art at the time, so people used to pay uh, big money for them, maybe four or five hundred dollars for something like this, and I thought if we could ever make a really good one, uh, we'd probably be able to make a nice business out of it. What began as a yearly father-son project when Garland was a young goalie has developed into an art. And this was one of the first ones that had just a tiny bit of padding in it. We used to cut padding out of forwards helmets and glue it in there. And uh, boy, when we started getting padding in there, it was uh, like riding in a Cadillac. Masks like this one that ProMask made for all-star goalie Dwayne Rollison are like Cadillacs. They're comfy, they look great, and they're a sizable investment. This is sort of the progression of how the masks start out and how they end up. This is actually a raw fiberglass shell. Uh, every one of these masks, they're not plastic, they're all handmade, laminated fiberglass. They have bulletproof Kevlar all through the mask and also a carbon graphite composite. These masks are just drilled, all the holes are put in it, the ventilation holes and the cage holes, each one is done individually. And then it goes off to the painter and the original base work is done. We'll decide what color the mask is gonna be and uh, the base work is started here. Then they're all clear coated to protect the design or the paint underneath. And then they go to this stage here where some of the designs are put on. You really have to use your mind and be very creative because every single helmet has to be personalized to that customer. Cujo, the Eagle, and Dominator. Personalized artwork aided by precision tools and brilliant paint jobs have helped turn goalies into icons in front of the net. When you think about it in all of sports, as your baseball players or football players or tennis players or whatever, there's nothing really that identifies themselves personally. They all wear the same helmets, they might have a number that they always wear or something, but they're all very uniform. Hockey allows for total expression of their uh, thoughts and ideas and everything else onto their goalie mask. It's one of the unique positions in, in all the sport where, uh, you know, it's just specific to a, per, to a player. Uh, and I think that that's, that's neat. Young Stasty Rob by Scott Clemenson. And what we did with this one, it's a tribute to all the old goaltenders that played through the years. And if you look at this closely, they're exact replicas of a lot of the old-fashioned goaltenders, Jerry Cheevers and Terry Sawchuk and Tony Esposito and Mike Liud. And this is uh, Jacques Plant, one of the first goaltenders to ever wear a mask in competition, uh, Ken Dryden and so on. And this is a real unique, complicated mask um, that shows a, you know, a full tribute to the old goaltenders. It's been almost 50 years since Jacques Plant reluctantly introduced us to the goalie mask. And in that time, it's grown into an integral symbol of hockey. How did he get that? It's a lot of fun to design them. Uh, it's great to work with the individual goaltenders and try to portray their ideas and themes onto the mask in the way that we know will work. Oh, man! From Chicopee, Massachusetts, I'm Jeb Fisher, CN8 Sports. Another pad save by Rollison. 